Hi, welcome back to Oak Haven. The last few videos we've done, we were doing uh, plants that are dangerous. Pl plants that pretty much everyone should know, whether you're out in the woods or not. We've done poison hemlock, which grows along the road, very prevalent, you see a lot of it. Chances of it causing you harm are pretty slim because you're not likely to be eating things that are growing alongside the road. We also did wild parsnip, still prevalent along the road in waste areas. You're much more likely to get into it because it's the kind of area that you would go through and do uh, weed whipping or weeding, um, and if you get it under your hands, you don't need to ingest it. You just need to touch the sap, and it can cause you serious problems. The third one that we're going to do in this series is poison ivy, kind of the one that everyone thinks of when you think about dangerous plants in the woods. Um, so we want to make sure that everyone understands what poison ivy looks like, and then what uh, what what the lookalikes are to poison ivy. This is our plant of concern here. This is poison ivy. Notice the three big leaflets. It has the green fruit that will become white berries later on. That's poison ivy. These are very mature leaves, so you can see that the leaves are pretty much entire. They don't have much of a serration. Um, when poison ivy leaves do have a serration, <clears throat> when they're younger, uh, it, it's very uneven. It's not balanced one side to the other. So here's poison ivy when it's younger, and you can see it has those serrations, but is not very evenly serrated. There's just like uneven lobes on one side that don't match up with the lobes on the other side. The stems have kind of a reddish color. Generally, when it first comes out, it tends to be glossy. The ones in the center here, you can, um, I don't know if you can make that out, are very shiny. And then it gets less, less shiny as it gets older. Poison ivy doesn't have to be growing up a tree. Here's an area near a parking lot where it's obviously been cut with a mower and it's down practically as a, as a ground cover in the landscaping, growing up over the concrete bumpers and mixed in all with the grass. You can see um, <laughs> there's a lot of poison ivy all through here. So that's poison ivy. It grows up uh, as a vine. It can also grow as a freestanding um, herb uh, and when it's younger. So then this is the one that's most often concerned with poison ivy is Virginia creeper. Now you notice that the Virginia creeper has five leaflets whereas poison ivy has three leaflets. Leaves of three, let it be, and all of that. So three leaflets poison ivy. The five leaflets is Virginia creeper. So here's an example of the Virginia creeper. When it's young, it can have three leaves. But if you look on the same vine, while the young ones have three leaves, as you look towards the older ones, you'll start to see those, those uh, fourth and fifth leaflets starting to form, and you can realize that this is actually a Virginia creeper with five leaflets. Poison ivy always has three leaf leaflets, at least that I've ever noticed. I guess it could have two if it's missing one or something gets knocked off, but generally you can count on it having three leaflets. And then the other thing over here that doesn't look the same leaf-wise is this wild grape but we should be able to understand what the, the, the vine looks like. So wild grape, which has a single leaflet, it's, or leaf, um, it's simple. The vine of the grape is very shaggy. So, whereas the Virginia creeper and the poison ivy have much smoother vines that hug the, the tree. They actually have um, things on the, the vine that will hold on to the tree as it goes up. The, the grapevine just entwines the branches as it makes its way up to the top of the tree. So in this mix of vines, there's a mixture of poison ivy vines, have the three leaflets, and the Virginia creeper vines. As you can see, it has the five leaflets. So the trick here is recognizing 
which vines those are if it doesn't have the leaves. So poison ivy vines have hair-like roots that come out that grab onto the, the bark of the stem. The Virginia creeper has little tendrils with like sucker-like pads on the end that reach out and grab onto the uh, bark of the tree. So here we have Virginia creeper vine and it, it's relatively hairless. You can see places where you can see roots are starting to form, uh, tendrils that reach out and grab. Um, and then there's a few, if you, I can get up close here, places where you can see the tendrils that are grabbing onto the bark. So here they are growing right next to each other. It's kind of nice. So the innermost one is the poison ivy. So here's the poison ivy leaves, leaves of three that are associated with that. You can see they're like all over the place. I hope I'm gonna be okay after this. The outermost one, which the tendrils are stockier. The poison ivy on the inside looks like little roots. The tendrils on the outside look like tendrils and they have little pads. That is for the Virginia creeper. So there's both of them together. So here is a more mature uh, Virginia creeper vine. So there's lots of tendrils. So it's not that uh, Virginia creeper doesn't have tendrils. It's just that they they do not look like fine hairs. They look like, um, uh, I would say, almost like worms kind of coming out. And then there's little pads that are holding it onto the, the bark. Here's another vine growing up this post that has three leaflets. So it, you could think poison ivy. Um, but it also has thorns along the, the um, stem and doesn't twine, doesn't grab onto things. Uh, this is a, a blackberry and uh, it just looks different. It's much more serrated, much more evenly serrated on the leaf. When I'm trying to explain to people what poison ivy looks like and what they can confuse it with, the thing that I think is the most confusing is this plant right here. We've learned leaves of three let it be. So here we've got three leaflets. We've learned that it has an unevenly jagged edge where it's not quite symmetrical, kind of unevenly lobed. We have that too. We've learned that you can have red stems. So this has all of those things, but it's not poison ivy. This is a box elder. It's a, it's a kind of maple. It's the only maple that we have that is, has a compound leaf. The reason we know that this is box elder, um, one, it, it has a more matte-like look. It just looks a little different once you know it. But if you don't know exactly what the leaf is, and there's a lot of variation both in poison ivy and in box elder leaves, box elders, because they're an, an, uh, a maple, they're, they're opposite. So you see that all of the leaves come off the stem opposite. Poison ivy, the leaves and the branches come off of the stem alternate. So this you don't need to worry about. This is just a box elder tree. So thanks for watching today. I hope you learned something about what poison ivy looks like and what some of the uh, lookalikes look like. If, uh, if it was a useful video to you, please like it. If you know of people that uh, this may have been useful to or this may be useful to, uh, please feel free to share it. We'd like to get this information out. Uh, we can always use more subscribers. If you have any comments or questions or concerns, please leave it in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching.